Early Theorists Translation Studies by Susan Basenet The invention of printing techniques in the 15th century had a profound impact on the role of translation and the overall landscape of learning. With the advent of printing, the volume of translations increased significantly. Texts could now be reproduced and distributed on a much larger scale, making knowledge more accessible to a broader audience. Etienne Delay, a French humanist, was one of the early writers to develop a theory of translation during the period following the invention of printing techniques in the 15th century. Dolet's theory of translation can be found in his publication from 1540 titled, La manière de bien traduire d'une langue en alta. How to translate well from one language to another. In this work, he outlined five principles that he believed were essential for producing accurate and effective translations. 1. Fidelity to the original text. According to Delay, a translator should strive for fidelity to the original text, capturing its meaning and intention as closely as possible. This principle emphasizes the importance of preserving the author's original ideas and style in the translation process. 2. Knowledge of both source and target languages. Delay stressed the significance of having a thorough understanding of both the source language, the language of the original text, and the target language, the language into which the text is being translated. Proficiency in both languages is crucial for accurately conveying the meaning of the source text in the target language. 3. Adaptation to the target audience. Delay recognized the importance of considering the target audience when translating the text. He believed that translators should adapt their language and style to suit the intended readership, ensuring that the translation is accessible and comprehensible to its intended audience. 4. Clarity and naturalness. Delay advocated for clarity and naturalness in translations. He emphasized the need for the translated text to flow smoothly and naturally in the target language, avoiding awkward phrasing or linguistic inconsistencies. 5. Avoidance of literal translation. Delay cautioned against relying solely on a literal word-for-word translation approach. Instead, he advocated for understanding the broader context and meaning of the source text and then conveying that meaning effectively in the target language, even if it required some departure from the literal wording. Dolit's principles emphasize the importance of understanding the source language, SL, text as the primary requirement in translation. According to these principles, a translator is more than just a competent linguist. George Chapman, a renowned translator of Homer, reiterated Dolit's views. In his dedication of the seven books, 1598, Chapman asserts that a skilled and worthy translator should pay attention to the sentences, figures of speech, and style used by the author in the original work. The translator's goal is to grasp the true meaning and essence of the text and adorn it with appropriate rhetorical figures and styles in the same language as the translation. Chapman further expands on his theory in the epistle to the reader of his translation of the Iliad. He states that a translator should, 1. Avoid literal, word-for-word translations as they may not capture the intended meaning effectively. 2. Strive to capture the spirit or essence of the original work, going beyond a mere surface-level rendering. 3. Ensure that no important aspects or nuances of the original text are overlooked during the translation process. The Platonic doctrine of the divine inspiration of poetry refers to the belief that poets were inspired by divine beings or the gods and that their works carried a spiritual essence. According to Plato, poets were considered intermediaries between the divine and human realms, and their creations reflected higher truths and ideals. On a technical level, the translator needed to possess a deep understanding of both the source and target languages, as well as the poetic forms and techniques employed by the original poet. They had the responsibility to convey the beauty, rhythm, and structure of the poem while preserving its meaning. On a metaphysical level, The translator's task was not just to transfer words from one language to another but to facilitate a transmigration of the poetic spirit, allowing the audience to connect with the timeless and universal aspects of the work. The translator aimed to bridge the gap between the original author and the audience, allowing the audience to experience the same emotional and intellectual impact intended by the poet. If you like my video then like comment and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section which type of video do you want in future.